Hello, Brian Begley with NCloud9 with another fast and simple YouTube video today talking about how to keep your data clean and under control using bulk deletion. Now, if you've been using Dynamics 365 for a long time, you probably have a lot of data in your system that may not be necessarily important to your business. And you may be getting some notifications via email that you're beginning to exceed your storage allocation. And one option, of course, is that you could go out out and buy some more storage, but it's very expensive data storage. Uh, currently, I think it's $40 per gigabyte per month above the 10 gig allocation you receive with your Dynamics 365 subscription. So you do want to keep an eye on your data uh, and we'll do a video about how to keep an eye on your data. But now today we're just going to start showing you how to clean up your data and that's through bulk deletes. Now there's two ways to get to bulk deletes. You can go through the Power Platform Admin Center. So once you're in the Power Platform Admin Center, you can go to Manage button and open up the environment that you're looking to check and remove some data and then go to settings. So environments, open your environment and then go to settings and then go to data management. And under data management, you have a bulk deletion screen that will pop up here. And from here, you can create new bulk deletion jobs. However, recently I've noticed that you can now do bulk deletion jobs from within the Power Platform Environment Settings application within Dynamic and you get a brand new user interface for that. So let's go into the Power Platform environment settings and we're going to look for data management and we're going to look for bulk record deletion. So I found that data management bulk record deletion. It's the same information that we see here. It's just this is the old user interface and in the Power Platform environment settings we have the new modern user interface and it will show me the recent jobs that have run in my environment and how much data has been removed from them. Now let's say I want to do a job to remove leads from my system that are disqualified and are over six months old. So at this point, they're probably not coming back to life. So let's walk through removing them. And we're going to set this up to be a recurring job that runs every 30 days and is going to send me an email every 30 days to let me know that the job has run. So to create a new bulk deletion job, we click on where it says plus new job. And we see this nice simple screen here with a search bar here to search for which table we want to delete against. So in this case, the table or entity that we want to remove the data from is our lead table. So we can search through here or let's check. Looks like we can't manually type in. So we do have to scroll all the way through the list till we get to our table. So here we go. Somewhere here is going to be a lead. And then we could start either using a saved view. So for example, by default, I can use the all leads view or I can use a custom view. So for example, a custom view I have called my recent leads. But but we want to create a different view. So we're going to change this view. We're going to start with all leads and then we're going to build our filter in. So we click plus add row and we're going to say status equals disqualified. And we're just going to say add row where date created or created on is older than X months. And I just type in six. And if I want to, at this point, I can add more criteria. I can add criteria from different tables, but we're just going to do a quick preview on this, see if everything looks right. So we have a whole mess of leads that we're going to be deleting. The only thing I wish is that when it gives you this preview, it would tell you the number of records in this view. That is one downfall of this way of doing it, but you don't get that deletion to say how many records are in this view. So at this point, we can start to run the job, but we want to run this job once a month. So we're going to give it a name. We're going to say leads disqualified older than six months. Okay. And we're going to say, when do you want this job to run? I'm going to choose it to run now. I can from here, click that box, run the job every 30 days. And then we have some options to send yourself an email. So I can send myself an email when this job is finished. I'll get a notification. I could also notify other people within my organization that this job has run. Once I save this, 
the job will start running. We see that here, leads disqualified older than six months. So after a couple minutes, I see that my jobs have all succeeded, but I'd like to look at a little detail about the bulk deletion job I just created. So I'm gonna click in my search box and I'm gonna search for the word lead and that should find the job that I created, leads disqualified older than six months. Click on that, it will give me some information. It had 46 successful deletions, zero failures. So that's all good information. I can also check in my Microsoft Outlook and I have received an email that says that this bulk deletion job has completed successfully and it started at 623 at 1042. So every 30 days, this job is gonna run automatically. It's gonna keep my data clean. There's a lot of tables that you should be looking at cleaning up regularly, such as emails, notes, leads, for example, opportunities that may have lost several years ago, lots of different backend tables that can be used to clean up data. And feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions on this topic so that we can help you make sure that you have clean data in your Dynamics CRM. Once again, this is Brian Begley with NCloud9. Thanks very much for watching our video and you have have a great day.